We're here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, aka Beer City, USA, and we're here to get some amazingly delicious food. You can check out a few different restaurants here, and even check out a, also check out a brewery while we're here too. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of great food in this video, so be sure to watch this on an empty stomach. Hey everyone, Scott or the Scott Man, and welcome to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's the second largest city in the state of Michigan, the largest city in the western side of Michigan. And so glad to be finally here to check out some great restaurants while we're here. So we're by the we're by the Founders Brewing Company right now. We'll go there in a little bit, but first we need to work up an appetite by going to, to our first restaurant. So I'm gonna just go straight down Cesar Chavez and we're going to go to our first restaurant. So I'll see you there. We're here at our first restaurant here in our Grand Rapids restaurant tour. This is Bistro Bella Vita. This is a great Italian restaurant located here in downtown Grand Rapids. Not only do they have some great Italian food, they even have some French food in here too. I haven't had some really good Italian food, especially pasta, in quite a while, so I'm gonna get pasta today. But yeah, for what I was seeing online, the reviews are amazing here. So I can't wait to go get some delicious pasta because I am craving Italian food right now. So let's kick off this restaurant tour by getting some Italian food. All right, so here inside and very roomy interior in here. Lots of places to sit down. And so in here they got a lot of great Italian food and also some French food too. So they got, most of the entrees are all French cuisine, but they also got a lot, of, a few different pasta dishes, including some noci and also some pizza and salad. You know what I haven't had in a long time, either on camera or off camera? Ravioli. So I got their four cheese ravioli and it looks absolutely fantastic. Lots of cheese on it, lots of great sauce. This looks good. So what's really cool is that it's homemade pasta. So you know it's gotta be good. All right, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and dig in. Here we go. So it looks like a little hot. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Rich tomato flavor. The cheese is amazing. Lots of it. The cheese is fantastic. And the ravioli tastes really good too. This is absolutely delicious. Amazing pasta. Definitely get, the, definitely get the four cheese ravioli when you're here. That ravioli was absolutely fantastic. However, be warned, it is a little expensive in there, so it's a little bit pricey, especially even for pasta. But if you can afford it, amazingly delicious food. So uh, definitely check out Bistro Bella Vita if you're looking for some great Italian food. I almost have to go back to try some of their French entrees too. Okay, so now we're gonna walk south on Ottawa and we're gonna head back over to where we started this video over at the, or at, the, or at, the at, that, at that brewery. So let's head over there next. And we're here at Founders Brewing Company. This is one of the most recognized breweries in the United States, and several of their beers are even the top 100 beers in the entire world. Founders opened up back in 1997, and is a popular spot to, uh, to get a fresh brew. So a lot of great beers on tap, and not only that too, but they even have some deli sandwiches too, which you can order as well. All right, so what's cool is that you can get a table inside, you can get sit on the patio like I'm doing on a nice day like today, or you can even sit at the bar inside. So it's a great place to get a beer, and also they got different munchies, and also different sandwiches, salads, or even soup. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting one of their hot pretzels. It's not ready yet, but we got, we got a beer ready to go. I got the, the Little Red IPA. This looks really good. I've not tried an IPA before, so can't wait to try one on camera here. Mm. Not bad, I have to say. Yeah, it's like I'm not, 
much of a beer drinker really, so it's like I don't have an acquired taste, but yeah, it's not bad though. I can't wait to try it with the pretzel. And my hot pretzel is here, and this looks huge. Like, I could easily share this with somebody. <laughs> it does look good though, so. Hot pretzels are a great pair with a, with, with, a, with a nice beer. So I'm gonna dip this into this honey mustard sauce here. Okay, so let's try this pretzel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this pretzel's pretty good, especially with the with the honey mustard. I'll go ahead and I'll dip another bit into the honey mustard. You can also get regular mustard. And, and, you, and you can also get beer cheese dip too if you like too with the press. I'm sure that'd be really good. Yeah, that little red IPA pairs pretty, pretty well with this pretzel, I have to say. We have good stuff here. But yeah, I forgot to say, but yeah, the, the Little Red IPA is one of the few beer, one of the several beers which is only brewed here at, at the Founders Brewing Company here in Grand Rapids. There's another one in Detroit too, but this is the main location. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this off camera. I'll see you back out there. Founders Brewing Company is a great place to, uh, to not only get a beer, but also some food too. Cause yeah, that pretzel is pretty good. It's like, yeah. Pretzels and beer mix pretty well together. But yep, after getting some food and also a beer, it's we really just started this food tour. So I'll see you tomorrow, but in the same video, and we're gonna get some more delicious food. So don't go anywhere. And it's another day and we're gonna get some more food today. And it's time to get some lunch over here at Two Beards Deli, looking here on Commerce. But we're about a block south of Fulton Street. So we're not terribly far away, maybe about even a couple blocks to the east of Van Andel Arena. Two Beards Deli is supposed to have some amazingly delicious deli sandwiches. So let's go inside and get a sandwich. You know it's good when you can smell it all the way outside. <laughs> all right, so here inside and yep, yeah, that's a really cool interior in here. As you can see up there, you, you, you order your sandwiches at the counter. Oh, I forgot to mention some really cool artwork on the walls here too. All right, so they got a lot of great deli sandwiches, a lot of hot and cold sandwiches, whether you want like chicken, turkey, ham, roast beef, etc. They even have salads too. But the sandwich I got, it's their number 49. This is the ZZ Top. It has grilled chicken. It's like some red peppers and some chipotle mayo, a feta cheese spread. This looks amazing. Still looks really hot, so I gotta be a little careful here. perfectly toasted. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's some mushrooms in here too. Fantastic sandwich. Everything just tastes very fresh here. And this bread is toasted perfectly. Nice flavor to it. Amazing sandwiches. If you're looking for a great deli sandwich, definitely check out Two Beards Deli. That sandwich was absolutely delicious. Lots of flavors in every bite. That's how sandwiches are supposed to be made, my friends. Extra delicious. <laughs> you have Two Beards Deli, a great spot for sandwiches here in Grand Rapids. But there's another place we're gonna check out in Grand Rapids for some great food. As a matter of fact, it's not even that all, all that far from all that far from here. So don't go anywhere because it's just just a short walk from here. And we're now made it to our next restaurant. So we're looking here at Fulton and Ionia, and this is the Grand Rapids Brewing Company. It's been around since 1893, so well over a century old, although its current location, and it moved to its current location in 2012. 
And it's, for what I was seeing on their website, some of the beers that they have, some of the recipes that they have still go back to 1893. So like back when it was found. So that's pretty cool that there's been, there are some brews which have been around for well over a century. But they got some really good food, so not sure if, if, if I'm gonna get another beer in this video or not, but what I'm gonna get for sure is some great food. Because I, for, I've heard, for what I've heard, there's some great food in there too. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm here inside. It's a little noisy in here, but cool interior, I have to say. All right, so I changed my mind because I'm in, I'm in the beer city after all. So I have to get one more beer in this video. After all, I'm not, I'm not planning to drive or anything today, so it's all good. But I decided to get their Grows on Trees, which is a Belgian wit beer. Has a lot of fruit in it, so this looks, this looks pretty tasty. good it's like anything that has fruit in it makes it even better I'm not a beer really a beer drinker but this is fantastic mm -hmm. all right so they have, they have a lot of great food here too like steak melts burgers other handhelds they even have some soul fried chicken and of course some street tacos so I'm in the mood for some good street tacos. I just came back from San Diego just not too long ago. And I'm already craving more tacos. So I'm getting some carnitas and some of their dank fries. So that'll be coming out in a little while. Okay, the food's here. Came out pretty quickly too. So here's their carnitas tacos for street tacos. Lots of carnitas, different pico de gallo on here. And of course their dank fries. This looks amazing. Really good. It's like they're just kind of like waffle fries, but they're better than Chick Fil A's too. And Chick Fil A has good waffle fries. All right, so this looks really good. Soft but crispy tortilla. Juicy carnitas. Chagos are fantastic. Yeah, just, gonna, just gotta love the food here. And the drinks. Great food and great beer inside of the Grand Rapids Brewing Company. Another fantastic restaurant and brewery here in Grand Rapids. Alright, so there is one more place we're gonna be checking out in this video. So don't go anywhere. And we're here at our last restaurant in our restaurant tour of Grand Rapids. Figured do something outside of downtown. This time we're in the Baxter neighborhood to the east of, or east southeast of Grand, downtown Grand Rapids. And we're in front of the Electric Cheetah. I've heard some really great reviews on this place. So I'm not even entirely, entirely sure exactly what type of food they have in there. So let's go in. And, so. Let's go in and find out. All right, so here inside, nice cozy interior in here, and gotta get one of their burgers. This is actually a special today. This is a tempura burger. Got fried onions, lots of cheddar cheese, tempura, and of course, a beef patty and some fries. Yeah, they have a lot of great stuff to choose from. Lots of great sandwiches to choose from. Lots of different entrees. I think they have a huge mix of a lot of cool things. But I'm in the mood for a good burger. They, 
cooked bird very well. This is amazing. Lots of great cheese. <laughs> so good. That burger was really, really good. It'd be really cool if they were to add that burger to the main menu. Because yeah, the burger coated with the tempeh, amazing. And yeah, not only that too, but yeah, the service in there was very friendly too. So yeah, if you're looking for a great place to eat in Grand Rapids, definitely check out the Electric Cheetah. Amazing food, great service. But yeah, we had a lot of great food here in Grand Rapids this past weekend. Got to go to a few different restaurants, even go, got to go to a brewery too. <clears throat> well, technically two. But if you're looking for some <clears throat> something great to eat, or if you're looking for some some great beer here in here in the beer city, definitely check out Grand Rapids. All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click this subscribe button to uh, come along and join for the venture, and uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out here from Grand Rapids, Michigan.